talking about hair and face. So as you can see here, I just took a marker and I drew my face on there. I didn't even put a nose on. I was afraid it would look really strange, so I just did uh, the happy mouth and some eyes and eyebrows. For your hair, once it's all together, at this time, you can trim it. This is at least a finger width, see, long, even though this person has short hair. You don't want to trim it too close to the knot because the knot can unravel. Uh, on this person, I left the hair long and I just took a couple strands and I braided it and tied it off. So you can totally do that also. On this one, this is another version of the same person here, but I actually painstakingly untwisted all of the pieces of yarn. So I'll show you here. It, it takes a long time. It's a labor of love here. But, oh, I'm going to try and get my camera down low. I hope I don't make you sick again when I do this. And refocus. Here we go. So I am untwisting. So a piece of yarn is made up of four skinnier pieces that were twisted together to make the one larger piece. So I am literally undoing that here. Sometimes it is easier to take your needle and kind of get your needle in there to help you take them apart. But I did that to every single piece of yarn and gives you really wavy hair like that. And that is how I got this hair, which looks a little crazy, but I could cut it or I can leave it like this, or maybe I want to braid it or do something else. Maybe I want to kind of put it up in some funky hairstyle. I don't know. These are the bangs. Your person might have bangs. Um, so lots of options for your hair as to what you want to do. But again, if you're going to trim it, be super careful about that. All right, so have fun with that. Eyes and hair, or faces and hair.